Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be looking at a sort of a guide for Prophetess, my thought process behind playing uh, each turn and how how you can actually play Prophetess on ladder successfully. So I just finished my uh, Grand Prix second, second round uh, in A group and I qualified for group A so I wanted to make a guide on uh, how do you play it. So first off uh, I, I run Fina and two Tetras instead of t three Tetras because Fina can be really good against Swarm decks. Usually uh, the the hard counter for uh, this Prophetess deck is a Swarm deck. So uh, like Agro Forest or Agro uh, Blood or Mecha Blood can be really hard to deal with with all those 1-1s one -ones and they usually do not expect you to run this card. I'm gonna show you a replay where I actually lost. So I went 4 and 1 and I lost just because I couldn't draw this card. I think I could have I could have won if I drew it. Uh, next up I'm playing two flame destroyers and three clarks. Usually people do not run flame destroyers because they wanna go for like a d-shift uh, turn where they draw Clark with Solomon spell but I don't do it that way I usually go Solomon for Ryo if I don't have him in uh, in my hand and uh, when I play Ryo all the flame destroyers in the deck are 1 so if I get another Solomon I can boost it to 10 and get Clark so that's like my process behind it and usually 7-7 seven, seven on board that cost like 2-3-4 is actually really really good and hard to deal with which helped me sometimes I'm gonna show you in the replays as well so the rest is pretty basic although if if you're facing a lot of Lishinas I could recommend place, uh, placing one uh, Presto Changer in this deck instead of like Clark but usually you don't wanna run many tech in so Fina and uh, Presto are kind of bad if you want to play both together. Uh, let's go to the replays real quick. First one is uh, against the blood. So <clears throat> when I when I saw blood, I was like, well, it's probably Mecha blood, but it wasn't. It was Dark Face uh, bad. So. Uh, when I saw their first turn, you you do it, wait, it first, first no game. What's the matter? Petrified already? Uh, on the Mulligan, you always want to get rid of the uh, high cost followers. Usually, Solomon in hand for turn one is pretty good. Magic missile as well. I kept it for the one ones. Why aren't I allowed in here? So when I saw this disciple uh, turn one, I was already scared because he's going first. I cannot play magic missile, so I'm basically taking two from from that card. Next, wait. Uh, so I I had an option here, right? I I could have played Solomon and and hopefully he he could trade or something with it, but. Uh, I didn't want him to play Evil Eye or something like that, so I I wanted to destroy at least that one. And and of course you don't want to let that one one keep hitting him in the face because you know Dark Fist uh, uh, Bat is gonna be huge. So he just played Unleash, more one ones, and the reason why I played. Uh, Eleanor here is uh, she's basically a ward now. I'm I'm taunting him to clear Eleanor and save save my face basically. Now look at this. He he has so many one ones. If I didn't drew Tetra and drew Fina here, this would have been awesome. Especially because yeah, so they, they are swarming me and all I can do is like clear two things, that's it, three remain, so I, I'm gonna take three damage to the face next turn for sure. Well actually two because, yeah, here, he's gonna trade with one but, yeah, he's still swarming me and in this situation as well, Fina would be nice, 
So, in, in this situation, I think I could have just um, boosted truth with Eleanor and try with that, but I, I I did not do that. I I do the I did the fate's hand because I wanted to draw a fiend or something, but at this case it's it's already too late. You you just lost the game. And tr if if I play truth, he can still kill with Valnarek easily. So yeah, basically th there was nothing I could have done. See, maybe on this draw, draw I drew it, but I didn't. So let's let's get on with the second replay because I am gonna concede in this one. I just wanted to show you the power of Fina here. Uh, next up, next up is another blood, but this one is Mecha blood. So again, on the the first hand, you want to get rid of the high cost things. Unfortunately, I'm I'm gonna get stuck with two zealots here, but I I somehow manage it. Let's speed this up for. So Solomon to turn two is also okay. You can play him later, boosting with another cards. It's fine, but. I usually play him like turn 2, so spell is 7, and if I can boost it to 7, it's a, it's basically a Raya tutor for the Raya cost. A Raya cost, it's not like efficient or anything, but it's a free Raya from the deck. You do not need to draw him. So, this, uh, this turn, I could have played Clark and lost tempo, but uh, I wanted to play Eleanor, hopefully, uh, because he he cannot clear it with those two. But uh, I was wrong because he had Kiss of Lust. And if he couldn't clear it, it would be awesome. Down. I love you. You're not bad. The and with Eleanor, I I boosted Flame Destroyer just because he's a big thing and Blood usually cannot clear it very well. He can play like Technolord to clear it, but it's it's not as efficient. They usually want to play Technolord on smaller stuff, so they kill more things at once. So this is, this is like the standard turn 4 Tetra, nothing special about it. Also, that's because the reason I took the gamble because I had both Eleanor and Tetra in hand, so I knew that even if Eleanor dies, I'm gonna have Tetra on field. I love you. The rain. It feels so cold. Next up, I think in in this turns, you uh, what you what you usually want to do is you want to keep one evolve for Ryo, usually. If you can, because when you play turn 7 Ryo with nothing, at least you want to keep Evolve so he can attack. Um, so that means if you're going second, you should go like turn 4 Eleanor uh, Evo or Tetra Evo, turn 5 Tetra Evo or, or Eleanor, and turn 6 uh, dedicate turn 6 for clear or, or turn 5 for clear, so you have one Evo to spare. And the same thing if you're going first. Uh, turn 5 Evo, turn 6 clear, and turn 7 play Rive. Something like that. So, my spell is at 4. Next turn I need 3 spells. And uh, when you play Rive, a good thing is to have Fate's Hand on 0. Because you can play uh, Rive and immediately, immediately draw 2 cards and hope for like uh, free Zealots or uh, another Fate's Hand or um, Fiery Embrace, that's all good cards. We're out of here, girl. I travel in so now of my spell is gonna be at 7, I think, let me see. We'll get yeah, but I time. drew Ryo. In, yeah. So I drew Ryo, so next thing you wanna do if you draw him, you wanna play Can Ryo and boost the spell to 10 to get uh, the... Uh, to get uh, Clark 
and this is the thing I was talking about. If I didn't draw, uh, if I didn't play Flame Destroyer in this deck, this would have gone face for eight. That's that's huge amount of damage. But now he's forced to like trade. That's very good for me because blood, as I said, he cannot do much against the big things. So so basically, my Flame Destroyer for zero save save me. Behold, the Eight damage to face, and this is the play I was talking about. You play Ryo and then you play Fate's Hand, you draw two cards. Unfortunately, I didn't draw like a fiery embrace, so I have to evil. Go mad for me, darling. So he played his removal here, which is good because usually want to play succubus when when there's a, there's more things on board but he did it for just one thing and that's awesome Eradicated all. so right now Everything I'm trying to go all. to face and Everything in the late the stages truth. of the game if you have an evil like this you shouldn't keep it but if you have it it's good to like evo zealot and go face because fa 5 damage to the face is huge and you're leaving a big follower behind um, and basically it's it's really hard to recover from so in the late stages of the game you usually have removal usually you you should keep removal in some matchups like shadow Machina or something but you usually have all the removal needed so you can evil and go face go hammer so uh, seal of solomon is uh, 12 so I can get Clark so my play next turn is to play the remaining things to summon properties let me see so the only thing that is needed is a junction and that's it Adju adjudication I don't know how is this pronounced truth we call it truth <laughs> so uh, the end on this turn I'm trying to build up a board and just play prophetess Miracles are born by my hand. Eradicated all, everything but the Miracles truth. Miracles are born by my hand. The unknown exists within the known. Look at this power play. The world shall hear this. Also, I could have, I could have played Fate's hand here and boosted more of Guardian Golem, but I didn't want to risk uh, drawing Prophetess, so I, I just kept this hand. Ooh, that's cold. I, I might could have won with this board even without the property, but you know, you want to guarantee a win, and that's it, that's a good thing. So let's get on to the next one. Uh, Runcraft? Yeah. I think this is the one where I just uh, cycled through the deck, so basically when you're playing a mirror, the first one who, who summons Prophetess basically wins. That's the thing in, in this. Do it, bring it so don't I be afraid to play the Truth's Adjunction turn 6, uh, because usually when you play this deck, in the end uh, you will find that you're missing uh, like a 4 drop and a 6 drop, usually, because 4 drop and uh, 6 drop are are not um, are not spell boosted they cannot be reduced so having turn 9 uh, uh, 6 drop and 4 drop needed it's really really bad because you cannot play it in one turn so let's see this matchup uh, mi uh, magic missile is always good in hand turn 1 so I use it for, for this one once and now Athena is go also going to do some work here, if I remember correctly. As you can see now, he's like cycling like crazy. He he had a Fate's Hand at 2 and did the turn 3. So I was a little, a little scared, but these top decks are just awesome. So let's see how it goes. Let me speed up for a second. I yeah, in basically of the he's spell boosting, I'm spell boosting. I travel in search of the unknown. Yeah. No! 
usually you wanna go on curve here just play uh, the cards you 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 want and cycle through the deck for uh, card like Solomon and Ryo because in in this matchup these cards are uh, like crucial so I get my true injunction now we wanted to play on curve and draw even more because there is no Solomon in, in my deck there is no I mean in hand in, there is no Ryo in my hand so I really need to hurry and draw these cards so here and there is Solomon here I did a mistake. I, uh, I I mean it's not mistake. I I played. I knew I was gonna burn one card, but I didn't care that much. I mean in this deck, it's if you burn profit, that's it. Basically you lost. But it only only happens once. I mean it happened to me once. So I I was gambling on it. I really need to draw. Cards. Usually you don't want to do that. Done for. If it has come to this, I will fight. I think Shane is down. gonna do the work here. Let me see for a second. Yeah, I burned Tetra, so that's fine because I have Fina in hand. It feels that's so a core cool. drop I need. So basically, Fina clears two of these things for, for an evil point. And that's that's okay by me. Down. More cycle and Solomon here gave me a spell that's five. That's not like the best at this stage of game, but I, I just wanted to put more pressure onto him because I, I saw I basically cleared two of his one ones, destroyed a Tetra for zero cost, which is fucking broken. And I had two zero, and then I was fuck it, let's go. If it has come to this, I will fight. Sometimes, if you if you can do the pressure on him, you should. That's that's the thing. If you have the means to do the pressure on your opponent, and he's like cycling like crazy, it's not gonna work every time, but it, it can work. Take your shells back. Now here I'm, I'm trying to do more damage to face, like 3 damage to face for, for 2 and more uh, 3 damage to face from Zealots, it's, it's really nice, it's really devastating for the opponent. I think in, in this game I didn't even play Ryo, because Solomon is... And the ring is at 3. So I'm, uh, at this point I'm just trying to finish him off. So let Junction is gonna do uh, its spell boost at 10 times. It does 4 damage, so next turn um, I'm, I'm gonna uh, kill him with Verdict. I think he can see this here because there, there's nothing more he can do. He can only clear. I mean heal with truth but that's it so sometimes you don't even need Ryo you just need to push really really hard I think I used uh, one verdict I would have used two and two zealots to the face yeah yeah that's a lot of damage and next one next one is shadow so he, he kind of misplayed I think but still I, he he was doing the right thing. He tried to storm me down before I can, you think you can do it? get my combo and Ryo and everything. Mother, father, so let's see how on. it goes. I did some some smart things as well here. So basically, when you're playing against Shadow, you really don't need Fina. You, uh, I mean, if that's a Makina, a Makina Shadow, she she's needed because turn turn four Bone Drone and the Mecha Wings and whatnot, but. If you're playing against Arcus, uh, she's not really needed. But I was playing against Arcus, and I, I think I was like not con concentrating enough, and I kept kept her. But it turns out she actually won me the game. <laughs> Let's see. Why aren't I allowed um, to speed here? this up? You should come so, on my adventure. So uh, my plan now, because 
there's the hand just go on curve to turn two, turn two, turn three, turn four. Nice to see you. The uh, missile goes to phase because of reasons. Why we don't want to do one damage on this and uh, do not draw another missile for it. So, now I'm thinking like, okay, I can clear with Wind Blast one of these things and don't suffer 5 damage to face, but my hand is not really good, so I, I played 4 and my opponent went berserk, you see this? He saw my weakness, he saw that he can deal 5 damage to face turn 4, and he went nuts. He he went with uh, all of these followers trying to swarm me down because that's that's like the only thing you can do against Rune to kill him early. So look at this Fina now clearing three or four things. Let me see. So she with Evo she clears this, which is really good. Uh. Yeah, so I can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want to draw. I, I wanted to clear as much as I can. So Dark, basically, this turn I cl I cleared four things. I'm coming for I, I, you. I could have played um, wind blast turn you. four and cleared that two two, but I didn't want to do it because I I really wanted to have this card draw. So now my hand isn't looking really good and <laughs> I, I remember I was basically praying for Eleanor and guess what, Th there's Eleanor. Basically she she's the one top deck that saved me next, so I, I really got lucky there. So this is the standard play, just clear the Lyra, Lyria, I don't, I don't know. I'm coming now, turn for six, you. I was expecting Jesus. like um, Ania or maybe late Ceres or something like that, but he's still trying to smart me down because he lost four things that turn. And now, because I saw the Soul Hunter, I think I was I was trying to uh, play Flame Destroyer here. Let me see. I cannot Impressive remember. Technology. Yeah, I, I, I think I screwed up here. I wanted to do a Flame Destroyer, but I ended up playing Zila. I also went face here because this was, this this is basically what Desperation looks like. If I, tra if I traded with the 1-1 here, he would have played next turn and it, it would be a 2-2. So, at this point I was like, fuck it, I need to deal damage before I get killed. And unluckily for me, he played Arcus. So, I, I thought well, I was dead at that turn. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so at this situation you really need to clear this one. So I played like everything I had, hoping he, he cannot clear it because it's turn 8. All he can do, I know he has one Nikolai in hand and two other cards. Yeah, two other cards. So basically Big Souls Hunter would have killed one of this and that's, that's really bad. But I also know because it's turn 8 he cannot play Fafnir. I know for a fact because it's a 9 cost and he the, didn't play Ceres. So I'm trying to go ham here and trying to smork him down before he kills me. And I because I know he cannot clear this board. So, but he, he actually tried to test. He did a couple of Nicolas, cleared one thing. And this was actually a clock victory, so if, if I didn't play that tree and I got the Eleanor next turn, I, I would have been dead like 100%. And uh, with Arcus you usually want to kill him before turn 10, because on turn 10 they play uh, Fairy, they play Grammary, I mean they can play Grammary before, but on turn 10 it's devastating. So basically you want to kill him before I think I even did that. So at, at this stage of the game I don't have many cards. I didn't play Ryo 
So I am trying to deal as much dam I mean deal and build a board as much as I can. So yeah. So yeah, I made. <laughs> I did a Solomon for another Solomon just to have a two drop and then build a board strong enough. So he. Oh, I cannot pause it. He. Yeah, I, I cannot pause it, but uh, he had. Two, he could have played two Nicolas and his spell, and that would have been four plus four eight. So I was two off. I I basically survived two off. That could have been really bad if if Fina didn't kill that three two. And maybe I, I it would have been even better if I killed the two two with Wind Blast turn two. But I really wanted to draw it there, and that drop really paid off because I top decked Eleanor. And the last Time one, I think started. this was a gold player, and yeah, it was a rank player, and his play style was a little... I don't know. Uh, basically he played like non-tempo cards and I really wanted to use them because I, I had a really good hand early, I remember. So basically turn 2 I played Eleanor, I was first, he was second. He played uh, Blood Pact, which is good for me because that's 2 damage to the face and no followers. That's actually good if you're going first or if you're playing it like turn 4 when you can play something else or something like that, but he didn't have anything on board and I just went nuts. I, I was like, he can maybe clear some, some of this, but next turn he played Unleash the Nightmare, so he drew two cards for a 2-2. Two -two. So basically I'm, I'm still trying to like smoke him down. And um, he got bats, so this is telling me that he he's playing an evil deck, and not the not the pure machina, or at least I thought it was. I can't remember what what happened next. So I'm still trying to smoke him down. He played a, a one one. That one skill summons a two drop, basically two one ones. So, still I'm trying to deal as much damage as I can. This is not the dirt variant. There's also dirt variant of this deck, and let, uh, let me pause this. There's also dirt variant of this deck that even deal that, that deals even more damage than this. And the reason I played Wind Blast here instead of uh, Conjury is because I want to keep a one drop and play it on Curve because this can deal even more damage for one last cost and if I had and I had two uh, cost I mean two play points so I was like I can I can use it like this so in that turn I use it to clear a 1-1 one, one, which is not efficient to clear a 1-1 one, one with a 2 drop spell or something like that but I really when you're playing against Machina you really wanna clear almost everything they have and and this time, I when I could afford to go face, I really wanted to go face. So I was scared that this turn he's gonna play uh, that one, uh, Metal Blade Demon, and he did. But that's also okay because he cannot clear everything, and he he's not gonna have anything on board. So at this turn, I really wanted to play Zealot, I remember. Let's see, yeah, I, I just played Zealot on go face. For, for, for the reason of not playing Tetra, because another good play, if he had something on board, I, I would have gone Tetra into Evo, into uh, Attack It, Splendid Conjury, uh, do the spell on face and do another spell on Tetra. I would have uh, gone for that, but since he didn't have anything at Tetra, couldn't go for for that one attack. I just went face. And this is the turn six. I was expecting that actually. I I thought that, that he's gonna play evil ma evil machina, but he didn't do any of that stuff. So I was like. Okay, this may be this. So he was actually kind of unlucky when when he played Unleash the Nightmares, but that 
that almost tricked me into believing that that's not uh, evil. I mean that that's not a pure machina build. So now I'm looking at my spell. It's boosted six times. This one is four. So uh, next turn, I think I'm gonna go for Ryo here. Let's see. What it gonna burn everything. Let's see here. Yeah, I play one inside into Ryo. Miracles are born by my hand. Behold the so that's a three drop Ryo right there. If that means I'm like broken, I don't know what is. Ooh, that's cold. Let's see here. Stop kidding me! I think that's yeah, that's I a solo for five. It's not really the the best thing, but I was hoping Shutting to play it down. like for for another thing that is missing. So uh, at this stage of the game, you really want to look at what you're missing. So I'm missing a five drop here, and I I need to pray to draw it. Basically, I'm missing a six drop. Also need to pray. Yeah, six drop, and. I'm missing a 10 drop and I know that I can uh, get one flame destroyer but by just uh, spell boosting this once which is great. Also I can get Clark with uh, boosting 3 times but I don't think that's gonna happen. And now he played, uh, I think he made a mistake, he, actually if he attacked Ryo for instead of Zilla and played this he might could have killed Ryo, I think he could have actually killed Ryo here. But he oh, didn't man, and he just proceeded. So let me see if that's all the four games that that I played. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, that's it. So that's gonna be it for this video. We'll see if I'm gonna make another one. See how this one turns out. So, see ya.